You've heard of layer ones like Ethereum. You've probably used a layer two like Arbitrum or ZK Sync. But now everyone's talking about layer three blockchains. What are they? And why are the smartest minds in Web3 betting big on them? In this video, I'm breaking down what layer threes actually are, why they exist, who's building them right now, and what it means for you. Whether you're a builder, an investor, or just vibing through this, the biggest tariff market in the history of the world. Not everyone says that. Some people do, but let's check it out. What is a layer three? Let's keep it simple. Blockchains are like layers of cake or lasagna if you're hungry. Layer one is your base, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Solana. Layer two sits on top, Arbitrum, Optimism, ZK Sync, making things faster and cheaper. Layer three, that's the icing on the cake. It's built on top of layer twos to handle specialized tasks like gaming, privacy, or super fast microtransactions. With L3s, projects don't have to fight for block space. They get their own chain, custom built, scalable, and super efficient. It's like moving from your crowded apartment to your own penthouse suite. All right, why do we need L3s? Let's rewind for a second. L1s like Ethereum are powerful, but they are slow and expensive. Then came L2s. They rolled up thousands of transactions to bring speed and low fees. It was a massive upgrade, but here's the catch. Most L2s are still shared environments. Your game, your DeFi app, your NFT project, they're all fighting for the same block space. Imagine trying to stream Netflix while your roommates are all downloading Call of Duty updates. Lag City. Reminds me of that guy everyone knows, you know, no matter what, if they died or somebody got the best of them, it was definitely lag. But that's where L3s come in. They let you launch your own blockchain layer secured by the layer two underneath, optimized just for your app's needs. All right, how do layer threes work? Now let's get a little nerdy. Layer threes are often built using recursive proofs or modular frameworks. Take StarkNet, for example. They're using Starks, the zero knowledge kind, uh, not Tony Stark to stack L3s within L2s using math magic. Then there's ZK Sync's hyperchains. It's like spinning up your own ZK rollup with shared liquidity, bridgeless interoperability, and native security. And Optimism is all in on their super chain vision, using the OP stack so anyone can build their own L3 rollup like Lego blocks. Basically, this is software as a subscription for blockchains. Chain in a box, click, customize, deploy. So why is everyone in crypto talking about layer threes? Well, there's two big reasons, modularity and sovereignty. Builders want full stack control, users want faster and cheaper dApps, and investors, they're hunting for the next big wave. Even Vitalik wrote about it. He sees layer threes as the layer for customized functionality. StarkNet is dropping dev kits. ZK Sync is onboarding entire ecosystems. Optimism is building the super chain. And yeah, let's be real, there are probably some very juicy airdrops coming also. So here's who's building layer threes right now. StarkNet with app chains, ZK Sync using hyper chains, Optimism via the OP stack, Arbitrum launching orbit chains, XAI, a layer three focused on gaming, and others like Linea, Taiko, Manta are exploring the L3 route also. Developers are using L3s for gaming, DeFi sandboxes, on-chain AI, and more. It's getting real crazy out there. So what does all this mean for you? If you're a user, expect smoother apps, lower fees, and a better user experience. If you're a builder, you get to launch your own blockchain with full control without needing your own validator network. And if you're an investor, early L1s and L2s made huge returns. L3s could be the next big opportunity. It's still very early, but the infrastructure is here and the building has begun. Layer threes are where the innovation's getting weird and really exciting. If this video helped make sense of all the layer three hype, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and drop a comment with your favorite layer three project. I wanna know what you're watching. Remember, none of this is financial advice. Always do your own research. And I'm actually right now getting ready to catch a flight for France and Paris Blockchain Week here in a few hours. I hope to see you there. Until next time, stay curious. Try to stay bullish and stack those layers. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for joining me on Deciphering Crypto. Take care.